Hello Salesforce users and enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to tackle an essential topic about finding your security token in Salesforce. This is crucial for various security and integration process. And if you've heard about the uh, security token but not quite sure where to find it, I'm looking forward to you learning it. But before we dive into all of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Okay, before we go, all I gotta do is go to the web browser of your choice. I'm Googling, um, I'm using Google Chrome right now. And once you are in the Salesforce um, homepage, if you do not have an account yet, please create one. Okay. And once you create uh, your once you create your um, account, log in with your credentials and you will go to your dashboard itself. So you have a lot of uh, options here at the top. okay? Once you are uh, in the interface of your um, Salesforce, all I got to do is go here at your profile. Go to settings, right? Okay. So once you are in your profile, all you got to do is um, hover down to the um, reset my security token, right? Okay. And before we click uh, and move forward, let me just remind you that finding your security token in Salesforce is necessary for various security um, related reasons. And it, it is an integral part of ensuring the protection of your Salesforce account and data okay and by that it adds an additional layer of security to your account so whenever you access salesforce from external applications the security token acts as a temporary password making it more difficult for unauthorized users to gain access many third-party applications and tools require your salesforce security token for authentication and it measures to verify that the person or system trying to access Salesforce is really an authorized user, right? So if you're using Salesforce APIs or application program interfaces to integrate with other systems, your security token is a crucial part of the uh, authentication process. So it ensures that only authorized systems can interact with your Salesforce um, data programmatically, right? So your Salesforce account likely contains sensitive and valuable business data and securing a security token for certain interactions, it helps protect the data from unauthorized access. And actually, in certain industries or organizations with strict security and compliance requirements, the use of security tokens is mandated to ensure that only authorized entities can access and manipulate Salesforce data. So if your Salesforce username and passwords were to be compromised, the security token adds an extra step to prevent unauthorized access. Without the security token, even knowing the correct username and password is not sufficient for access, right? How cool is that? Also, the security token is unique to each user and is linked to their Salesforce account. It helps in tracking and attributing actions and changes within Salesforce to a specific users aiding in accountability and auditability. Now, it acts as a deterrent against brute force attacks where attackers trying to attempt gain, to gain access by repeatedly trying different passwords. The dynamic nature of security token makes it more challenging for automated attacks. Now, for users who, sales, who access Salesforce remotely or from different locations, the security token ensures that only authorized individuals can log in even if they are using a different device or network. Many industries are subject to uh, regulatory compliance standards that mandate strong security practices. Using security uh, tokens aligns with these standards and helps organizations meet compliance requirements.
now that you were able to uh, reset security token just click that and you will receive an email the salesforce admin will be notified it is a crucial step in maintaining a secure environment for your salesforce account and data it aligns with um, best practices for authentication and access control which is essential for integrating salesforce with various tools and applications i believe that's a wrap for today's video if you find this video helpful please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already okay so thank you so much for your support we love having you as a part of our community the easy earl community so you can connect with us on all social media platforms the links are in the description below stay in the loop with our updates and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys